Hello everyone, welcome to API Summit 2023. In this session, we're going to see Kong Cloud Gateways in action. Kong Cloud Gateway is our new product offering that we are announcing today. Up until now, with Connect, our cloud platform, our customers can easily provision fully managed Kong Control Plane, and then they deploy the data planes on their own infrastructure. Today, we are taking Connect to a whole new level. We are really excited to announce that Connect is now a fully managed SaaS platform. With Kong Cloud Gateways, our customers can easily provision fully managed data planes on multiple cloud provider across different geographic location in just a few clicks. And all of the data plane instances are completely deployed on Kong managed infrastructure. Let's see it in action. A little bit about us. My name is Deepak. I work on the Connect Cloud SRE team. Hi, my name is Leonard, and I work on the Kong Connect SRE team as well. Thanks, Leo. Now let's look at the agenda for the day. First, we're going to talk about the primary goal behind the Cloud Gateway product. And then we're going to talk about different features of Cloud Gateways. And then we will walk you through different components of Cloud Gateway. And then we're going to explain how Cloud Gateway is going to simplify our customers' day-to-day -day operation. And lastly, we're going to see a full demo of Kong Cloud Gateways. Our primary goal is to provide a platform that is easy for our customers to provision their data planes on multiple cloud provider across different geographic locations with minimal effort. When a customer starts to use Connect for managing their control plane, they quickly realizes how easy and cost effective it is. Uh, and then a lot of our customers started asking about the possibility of fully managed data planes. Because if you look from the customer point of view, provisioning a global fleet of API gateway across multiple cloud provider, multiple geographic location can be a time consuming one. Now with Kong Cloud Gateways, our customers can easily provision global fleet of API gateways on multiple cloud providers across different geographic locations in just a few clicks. It's going to be that easy. Now let's talk about different features of Cloud Gateways. One of the primary principles that we have been following since day one when we start building Cloud Gateways, it is, should be easy to use for our customers. In Cloud Gateway, we are providing a very simple and easy to use provisioning experience. Just tell us what Kong Gateway version that you want us to use, and also tell us like how we should configure the data plane cluster. Tell us which cloud region, or which cloud provider, and which region you want the data planes to be provisioned. And lastly, tell us like what type of gateway instance we should provision, whether it's a public internet facing or a fully private one. Now for all of our customers, uh, they can choose two different configuration mode to configure the entire cluster, a SaaS mode and a PaaS mode. In SaaS mode, our customers get serverless-like experience. Just tell us what is the base request rate that you are expecting, and Connect will automatically pick the instance type and the number of instances in the requested region. We are calling this autopilot mode. Now in PaaS mode, our customers can choose the instance type and the number of instances in each requested region. So they get more granular control. Now we know that a lot of our customers uses multi-cloud strategy. For all these customers, we are providing you out of the box multi-cloud support. All our customers will be able to deploy their data planes on multiple cloud providers of their choice. Multi-regional deployments are becoming a common practice among engineering teams to provide full high availability for the services even during a regional failures. In Kong Cloud Gateways, we are providing you out of the box HA from day one. All our customers will be able to deploy their data planes on multiple regions in every geographic locations. All of your user traffic will be automatically routed to data planes that are closer to their location so they get low latency experience. For all data plane clusters that our customer provision, Connect will automatically create a top level domain name. What we need from the customer side is simply create a CNAME record for all of your custom domains that you wish to be served from the data planes and start sending the traffic. Our global DNS infrastructure will automatically route the traffic to the closer data plane nodes. For all public API gateways that our customer provision, Connect will be automatically managing the TLS certificates. 
simply give us the list of custom domains and connect will automatically provisions them and it will automatically get pushed to all of your data plane instances and connect will take care of the renewables to guarantee zero downtime. Resource isolation is another common concern that we see among users when they start to use fully managed SaaS platform. In Kong Cloud Gateway, all of our customers' data planes are completely running on isolated environments. Now, these isolated environments guarantee strict resource isolation from network stack to all the way to compute resources. Now, here is an image showing the provisioning wizard with the pass mode selector. In the provisioning wizard, our customers can choose the Kong Gateway version of their choice. And in pass mode, they get the ability to choose the instance type and then choose the cl cloud provider of your choice and the region of your choice and the number of instances to be provisioned in each region. And finally, tell us what type of API gateway it should be. Now, here's an image showing the autopilot mode. Now, instead of picking the instance type, our customers simply provide us with the base request trait that they expect to be served from the cluster. Now, whenever there is a traffic spike happens, Connect will automatically detect and it'll automatically scale the cluster to meet the traffic demand. It'll be that elastic. Now, I'm going to pass over Mike to Leo. Thanks a lot, Deepak. We're going to take a look at the several components that makes up Cloud Gateways. Next slide, please. With Cloud Gateways, we are introducing a new component called the network stack. It's a logical entity that holds a customer's network and compute resources in a fully isolated fashion. Next, we have the connect control plane that is already a part of connect. And we are introducing data plane groups. This is a logical entity that groups all the data planes that are running in a specific cloud provider region combination and the data pane group typically runs on a network stack. If we take a look at a network stack in detail, next slide, we can see that uh, the network stack exists in a Kong managed account on the cloud provider of your choice and isolates network and compute resources by running your Kong gateway instances inside the inside a, net, a net private network on private instances. If you want to route your traffic to your upstream services in a private fashion, you will have the ability to peer your network stack with an account you own in order to achieve private networking. Next slide. If take a look at the network stack overview on the Kong Connect uh, UI, you will be able to see for each control plane on Connect the networks that are available in which provider and region for the current control plane. If we take a look at the image below, we can see that we have six networks. Four are already in ready state, ready to be uh, to have data plane groups deployed to them. We have two in Asia Pacific, two in Europe, and we have two that are currently initializing and that will be available soon on US. You can see that in terms of network customization, you can specify the CIDR as well as the availability zone for each of the networks in order to have networks stacks that are tailor-made for your use case in order to better reach your upstream services and limit costs. Next slide. On to simplifying day zero operations. If we take a look at um, next slide, sorry. If we take a look at what we want to provide with Connect, there is the easy provisioning experience that we already have with Connect control planes. We are bringing this to the data planes with the ability to easily provision the underlying infrastructure with the network stacks, as well as the data planes. We want to provide the ability to scale to any geolocation without having to plan ahead for months as it can be in a traditional with traditional operations. Same goes for DNS management. We want to, pro to provide this simple use case with geo-distributed uh, APIs and have the request routed to the nearest locations. 
we are currently doing uh, latency based routing, but you can expect more strategies to come. At first, we will have AWS available in North America, EMEA and Asia Pacific, but you can expect Azure and GCP to be available at GA that will happen on the first half of 2024. For the pricing model, we are adopting a SaaS model where you will pay for the resources you, you use in terms of CPU and memory, as well as for the network traffic your data planes instances generate. Now, on to Deepak to talk about day one operations. Thanks, Leo. Now, let's see like, how Cloud Gateway is going to simplify day one and beyond for our customers. Our global DNS infrastructure continuously monitors the latency so we can provide low latency experience. Our system will automatically perform the traffic routing adjustments to reach the low latency requirement. In Kong Cloud Gateway, all of our customers get, can run zero downtime Kong version upgrades anytime they want. Using Connect Analytics, our customers get full access to all the telemetry generated by the data planes. You can create graphs based on the data plane metrics, create custom reports for the traffic, or even view the request logs. We know that a lot of our customers want to keep the traffic between the Kong managed data planes and their upstream services fully private and fully secure. In Kong Cloud Gateway, our customers will be able to create a traffic peering between the Kong managed network stack and the network that's running on their own cloud infrastructure. So the proxy traffic remains fully private and fully secure. All our customers will get full access to Connect Portal, our new service hub, our powerful RBAC, and there are much more features in the Connect. And with that, let's see Cloud Gateways in action. First, let's log in to Connect. Once you are logged in, go to Gateway Manager. Now, this is where our customers can manage the control planes and the data planes. These are all the different control planes that are currently active in this account. Now, let's create a new control plane. So, I'm going to name this API Summit 2023 Multi Geo because we'll be deploying to multiple geographic locations to show how powerful it is. We're going to select this as Cloud Gateway instances. Then we're going to click Next. Now, Connect has already created the control plane, and we are presented with the data plane provisioning wizard. Now, our customers can choose the Kong Gateway version. We're going to pick 3.4 as the latest. And we have the configuration mode, our autopilot, and our pass mode. In autopilot, you can provide the base request rate here, and Connect will automatically manage the instance type and the number of instances. Now, let's go with the pass mode so we can see the advanced configuration. In pass mode, you can choose three types of instance type. We are going to pick the lowest one because it's a demo. We are not expecting much traffic. Now, for this control plane, we are going to deploy to two different regions. So we'll be deploying to North America and also to APAC. So in North America, we're going to deploy to US East 2 and also to US West 2. And then for APAC, we are going with AP Northeast and also AP Southeast. Now we can individually change the number of nodes for different regions. So let's increase for some of them. Now currently, there are no network stack available for these four regions, but we can directly create it from here. Let's provide some meaningful name. So we're going to name this default network AWS US East 2. We have the ability to choose the availability zone to match your requirement. And then we can provide the CIDR. Uh, we provide some helper text so you can decide like what the best choice for you. So let's start with slash 16. Now, as soon as I click save, Connect will automatically start provisioning the network stack for me in the background. So let's proceed. Now we have to do the same for all other region. So this is the US West 2. So it's default network AWS US West 2. I'm going to pick, I don't want three. So I can have the full customization here. So 10.2.0.0 slash 16. Now let's do AP Northeast. So this will be default network. AWS AP Northeast. One, I'm going to pick all of the available ones. And for this, 
will be 0, .0 slash 16 and finally AP Southeast. So default network AWS AP Southeast 1. So I'm selecting all the three available regions 4.0.0 slash 16. Now, Connect is currently in the process of initializing all the four network stacks. We don't have to wait here. We can click Create Cluster, and Connect will automatically schedule my request. As soon as a network stack is available on that region, Connect will automatically start deploying the data planes on it. So let's proceed. So now Connect is kind of initializing. Now, if you go to Networks, you can see like we already have two uh, in ready state in the Europe store. Now we have trigger like four of them, so two in US and two in APAC side. Now, usually this takes around like 15 to 20 minutes to provision the network stack, and then like around two to three minutes to deploy the data planes. Now, for the sake of the demo, we have already pre-configured another control plane, so we can actually see the final state once Connect completes the initialization. So let's go there. So this is the control plane that have pre-provisioned. Now, what you see in the overview page, so this is the unique top level domain name that Connect has provisioned for this data plane cluster. So for your custom domains, the C name should be pointed to this one. Now, if you go to data plane nodes, you can see there's two active data plane nodes. You could see the configuration here. We have already requested for two nodes in one cloud, which is the AWS, and in one region, which is EU Central. And Connect has provisioned these two data planes they are in fully active, they are in fully sync. Now, if you go to data plane certificates, Connect also automatically creates and provisions the data plane certificates. Now, this certificate is used by the data planes to authenticate against the control plane. This is automatically managed by Connect for you. Now, if you go to certificates, what you see here is the Connect Managed TLS certificate for the top level domain that you have generated. Now, once you provide the custom domains, you will see all the custom domain certificates also available here. If you go to SNIs, you will see the SNIs in the certificate and you see the tag as Connect Managed. So all these are completely managed by Connect for you. Now, let's see this Cloud Gateway in action. So first, I'm going to hit some non-existent route and that should return like a 404 for me because it's not configured. So let's see API Summit 2023. I'm going to 404 because this route doesn't exist. Now let's configure this route and see it in action. So I'm going to go to Gateway Services. I'm going to create a new service called Demo App. And I need a URL to hit it. So I'm going to use this pre-configured mock bin URL that will respond with a custom text in the response. So I'm going to copy here and say, OK, let's create this gateway service. Now we need to add a route so we can actually proxy it. So the route we are testing here is API Summit 2023. So let's go here. I'm going to name this as Summit 2023. And the path will be slash API Summit 2023. Great. So now Connect has created the route. Now let's verify this. Hard refresh. Yeah, we got it. So now. The requests are hitting our cloud gateways and cloud gateways are automatically proxying them to Mockbin. Now, during the presentation, we also told you that customers will be able to create traffic peering between the network stack and their own infrastructure. On this control plane, we're currently using the EU central one where the data planes are deployed and we have already pre-configured a tra traffic peering between this network stack and with one of our secondary account. Now, if you go to Gateway Services, there is a service that we're calling it internal demo app that is currently proxying to this FQDN. Now, this domain is completely private. If you try to resolve, this doesn't exist. So this um, domain is only resolvable in the uh, secondary account, and there is a service that is running in a Kubernetes cluster. And we also created a route called slash internal that we can actually hit, and the Cloud Gateway will proxy the request to this upstream uh, services that is running in a different account. So let's try hitting that and see how it looks. So this service is completely running on our secondary account. And what happens when you access the slash internal is all the requests first hit the cloud gateway that is closer to my location. And from there, Kong Cloud will automatically proxy the request 
to the services that is running via the transit gateway. And with that, we are winding up the demo. Let's go back to the slide. We hope you enjoyed the demo. Currently, Kong Cloud Gateway is an invite-only feature, so feel free to reach out to us if you need an uh, exclusive demo or if you want access to this product in your Connect Org. Thanks a lot for coming in. Have a good day.